Well, hello, YouTube. Well, my game just kind of closed on me, and I was having a little conversation, so well, this is going. I'm going to talk. Uh, or I might just, like, skip stuff. But, um, I completed the first Bioshock. The video, I, the last video of the series is up. Don't know if it's getting any views, but what can I do? Can I? No, it hasn't got, it's, the thing is, I usually do videos at around 30 minutes. Around 30 minutes. Sometimes a little bit longer, but the last video I was just looking was an hour and 13 minutes long. It's because I got so wrapped up in that story. I could have waited to make the ending of the video. I could have, but I decided no, because I decided, okay, might as well finish it now so I can... I was uploading the videos, of course, but, like, I was uploading the videos, but I wasn't actually physically record. I wasn't actually physically recording, um, I wasn't actually physically recording the second game until today, but, like, I... I completely kind of just like, cut, I uploaded the videos and I was kind of relaxing. And with this whole virus thing going on, I, let's just say I haven't been going outside. Um, um, I haven't really been. We go out, like we only go out for the use you tent. Like, I'm not going to talk about this whole thing because I don't want to scare people. Like. That's not me. Um, but, like, the thing is, for me, like, I think about everything because with this, like, yes, this whole thing is going on, but my mom, we went to, uh, I think it was Walmart. Nothing's there, le like, nothing's hardly left at all. Like, people are really just kind of going, like, people are scared, and I understand it, but, like, don't, like, and I don't know, I'm probably just, you can say in the comments, oh, maybe, um, maybe this is different, because you don't understand. In a way, I do understand, because it's a scary thing, I'm not going to deny it. Like, I'm not going to, but it's just, like, really, like, don't do too much. Don't, like, scare people. This is why I don't watch new the news. It's because I think the news just scares people. Just to get more people to watch it, which is maybe this is, it's just me. But I don't know. Back to the game. Because, I, like I said, I'm not going to talk about, it's not one of my things I like talking about. This channel is not for, pe like, talking about news stuff, so... But, like, if not, I don't, I'm not going to be talking about news and stuff, so don't have to worry about that one. <laughs> the thing for me, though, is I don't understand people. I never did in life. But, like, if you think about everything that has happened, uh, in general, you... Okay, I'm gonna take this game, perhaps. After the she's done talking. Okay. Um, as I was saying... But, um, I, with this channel here, I'm not going to be talking about news and public stuff like that is because I don't watch the news whatsoever. I really don't.
bitch. <coughs> I'm talking over her. But with this game is, yes, it's a city under the water and stuff like that. This was before, this was after the, I think it was after Bioshock Infinite, which I'm going to be playing on this channel. But, like, the thing for me is, like, certain things in the world kind of rupture into games like this. It's because this game shows a lot of things that, well, most games are kind of scared of. Which is, I'm not going to say, like, it's a bad thing. Like, it's a good thing there's games like this. Because it shows that, well, in, okay, Bioshock, I think the first two Bioshock games, just in general, because the third one, no, Bioshock Infinite doesn't count. It kind of does, it's before this, but, um, you think of different things. Like... You think of okay, but the first two Bioshocks are crap. Uh, the two, the first two Bioshocks were basically about a city underwater. You trying to survive it from like splicers, like everything. And in this game, there is Spider. The, um, you are a big daddy, which. I really find cool. I like playing as the Big Daddy. I really do. I don't know why. It's one of my favorite... The thing is, in the first game, you kill them. Duh. In the first game, you do kill them. To, like, like get the little sisters. Yes, in this game, in particular, you do kill them. But... What you're doing is you're basically what they're what they were doing with the little sister. You're how you're doing. Look, what like what what you're doing is kind of you basically take the role of that big daddy that died. In the first game, you're just kind of like you had a moral like just like this game, you have a moral choice of. You have a moral choice if you want to kill the little sisters, the harvest, or rescue. And I'm saying this now, I'm going to be rescuing every single one. I want the good story. I want the good ending. Because it doesn't just have a moral thing for me. It It's a different thing where... If any, of course, 80% of people have played this game already. Eleanor, you are trying to make a good person, a good life for her in your in your own right, which is understandable. Holy crap! Oh, oh excuse me. So, let's say you do what you do. Like, let's say you kill. The little sisters. Let's say you do. Like, let's say you kill the little sisters. Then it, she's going to look at it and say, oh, I can be a mirthless killer. Yes, there are some people that do it. And there are some people that do both endings. I just don't see the point of doing both endings. I like the good ending better than anything. So, like for me, I will always do the good endings. So, in this one, it's going to take me a bit, like I, like it did in the first game. Find the little sisters to do every single little sister to save them. Which, common sense, being, well, just do it if you want just to do the bad ending too. Or you just don't have to save them all. I want to save them all because I like the good endings. Whee! Sorry, my child decide comes I want to do it. But I want to do the good endings to everything in this game, which is like, 
my thing really is because I don't I think it just reflects on what I who I am too is if if I was in a situation like this hear me out and if you if you think the same way put it in the comments or anything um if you were if you think okay you could easily kill so let's say you were in a situation like this you were under a thing but you had to get Adam ow you had to get Adam and either you had to choose to kill them then you had to choose to kill them or save them me my, with my morals I would save them completely because I don't want to just the thing for me is I don't think it's right like for them they got turned into what they are no if ands or buts they got turned into what they are so it's not their fault with these splicers okay with the splicers yes you kill them yes the splicers do kind of kill these girls because splicers just don't care but Yep. They were basically the splicers just needed their kick, and I'm not saying this as like a kind of a thing where oh, what they do is wrong is because you're killing them. You're they're killing technically kids, technically kids still, but in their eyes, oh, we need Adam, so why not? They, they have no feel to it. They just want Adam, which is understand. Like In their own eyes, all they see is, in those little girls, is Adam, which is wrong. And I'm going to say it's wrong completely is because it is. Like, it's wrong. Like, you, if you had the choice, like, with the big daddy, it's easier to kill them because... Um, in the first Bioshock, like in the first Bioshock, you are, like in the, I think it was in the first, first Bioshock, you were just a person. And the only starting gun that, like, yes, you started with this. But like, you started... With the, the with the thing, now I have a uh, rocket. No, like a uh, rivet gun, and uh, well, hack thing. But that comes in handy for me. But that's just me. <laughs> that is me in particular. Is because I like using the rivet gun. That's just me. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This game just brings up my life choices. <coughs> oh, ah. uh, I at least want to record. Like today I recorded. Um, today I uploaded the final part. Which was an extra. I usually don't upload. On the weekends. I usually... I usually don't upload on the weekends. I record and then that's it. And what... Saturday I decided, okay, I have this hour and however long it was now. I have it. Why not just use it to have a little extra video for the people that watch them? I think if I do the same thing for this game, I will do the same thing. Like, I will do the same thing for this game if I get near the end, like, completely near the end. Like, I am, like, kind of just, uh... Oh, damn it. Um, like, for me, it's, if I get near the end of this game, like I did in uh, the first Bioshock, I'm not going to stop until I'm done. So... 
You may see a longer video, but you may see a video on the weekend as a little treat. Like, like I, like I said, I tend, I tend not to make videos. I tend not to upload videos on the weekend is because I think like, why not just make them on? Um, why not just make them on? Make why not just make them on the weekend and not push them out until God knows when, you know. And it's only a one time, one hundred time thing. If it's a walk through that it's a if it's a playthrough walk through anything that I like oh you little bitch thank you buddy hack bonus uh bitch 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 Eat my uh drill. That's my way of saying dick. <laughs> That's my say away in that one. Um, but like, yeah, it's for me. I'm like, okay. If I like games that I play, so I lo I've played Bioshock, all the Bioshock games on my Xbox a lot, like too much. I decided, okay. If it was on sale on Steam. This whole collection was on sale. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. I'm like, I see no point to not to buy the game when it is such a great game. Yes, for sometimes there's people out there that don't like certain games, and which is understandable. Everyone has their choice of games. Like for me, I play. A lot of games on my Xbox. I started playing games. I think I played. Um, I think I played. I'm playing three new games on my Xbox at this moment, which is, it sounds crazy, but I don't mind it because I like those games. I'm now physically playing. Like, I'm physically playing, um, Journey to the Savage Planet, which I just bought because it looks neat. Um, like, I, I just bought it because I, I, I thought it looked neat, and I thought it was like, you know what, it's kind of like, no Man's Sky in its own right, but in a weird way, you know, like, it's weird because the graphics and the way the plants are, like, everything, it's kind of like a buy, it's kind of like a No Man's Sky-ish game, which I'm going to be one of these people and say I li actually liked playing No Man's Sky, not when it first came out, God no. That thing was filled with bugs, but now I decided I've been kind of just like looking at looking at a thing where I played the game after when it's like kind of fixed things in the game. I enjoy it now. It's like it's actually really fun. Yes, I may be lost on a planet right now, which is kind of funny because I'm trying to go places that are lost on a planet trying to go to different planets but what can I do you know <laughs> um like but like for me I'm like oh okay and I you can tell journey to a strange plant or savage planet is going to be the same way and I don't think it's a good thing is because yes it didn't get that many reviews it's because people, there's only some people out there now that, that like playing games that are space related. Like I said, it's not a problem because like, I see no, like, I like playing games like that. I think they're fun. I like playing games like this. 
this game here is completely messed up from everything like almost drug people are, like addicted to drugs basically Adam is like a drug to them so they're drug addicts but with powers that doesn't make sense don't mind me but it's it's like that and people always give like when I first started playing this game But like when I decided when I first started starting to play this game, I decided okay, I'm going to give it a chance because, of course, I I didn't play it when it first came out because I didn't have the system for it, which is understandable. But later on in my life, I decided okay, I'm going to. But, like, I decided, okay, I'm going to push. Like, I'm going to push out. Yeah, it's Eleanor. Ah, uh, there is place for me in paradise, you bitch. Um, but if you think about everything in this game, you kind of... This game pushes a stereotype. Like, any game. Every game out there now are from the past. Don't know how long... This game, Bioshock 2, came out a little bit after Bioshock 1 because they wanted to to see how this game was once they realized oh this is actually a good like a really good game <laughs> uh kind of an easter egg not really but i call it an easter egg from but i decided okay when i first played it when i first decided to play this game myself i didn't know what i was doing I died because I didn't know what I was doing, which is understandable. Like, okay, everyone that plays a game the first time, no one's going to be a pro at it. No one's going to be a pro. Okay, let's say... Call of Duty. I'm saying this now, I fully suck at the multiplayer. I really suck at the multiplayer. Like, I'm not going to deny it one freaking bit. I suck. But, I have fun. There are some people out there that I watch, and even when I don't watch, are just like, they shit on people. Because they're so good at the game. But for me, it's just like, I like watching them because I think it's funny because like, These people are like, um, so good at it, you know? Time for a sip of water. The video is almost done, so. Oh, I need to go to Fontaine Futuristics. Oh yeah, that's true. That's cool. And the plasmins I used in the first game, I'm using in this game. I'm going to max them out completely. I love those. Don't know why. Back to the uh, little conversation I was a little having. You, everyone has a choice of what everyone likes. Games like this, games like, let's say, um, well, like I said, Call of Duty. There are some people that are really, really good at Call of Duty. I watch a few of them on YouTube. Some of them are not good at it, but they still play it for the fun of it. They're not going, they're not going to stop playing because they suck. 
you know? Like for me, when I first started playing this game, I wasn't good. Because I didn't know, for one, I didn't know what I was doing. And everything, like, people learn certain games easily. And it's kind of a crime to think that, oh, to be really good at a certain thing, you have to be good at a game. I watch people on YouTube that are just really, really freaking bad at games. They Yes, they rage, but they're still, they're still having fun. Yeah, she's trying to get all the atoms she can. Um, oh, it makes me so oh god damn you! Um, but like for me, I play a lot of games. Like I started playing Call of Cthulhu on my Xbox. Started playing Darksiders 3. I have so many games from my Xbox, I can't even name half of them. <laughs> um, but like, I. There's, a, there's certain games that, well, that people are good at and people are not. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not good at Call of Duty one bit. Like, I don't care what anyone says, I'm not good at it. Like, everyone has, like I said, everyone has their games. Games like this is my thing. Like, I love games like this. It's because it's so... God damn it, I'm using... What I don't want. Whatever, she can heal. I don't care. Done. You're done anyways, it doesn't matter. Um... I'm not good at Call of Duty. Not gonna deny it. Not going to at all. Like I'm not good at it, but I've had fun playing it. I'm decent at it. I have it for my Xbox and I bought it for PC. So like I bought it for PC, so I've been thinking of doing like videos and stuff for it, but I don't know, I decide, like, I don't know. Thank you. You're a good person. Good luck to you, too. Okay, um, but yeah, like, games like this I have fun playing is because you can get lost in these games easily. You really can. Like, it's not the matter of, oh, it's not the matter of stuff like this. You always think like, oh, okay, you just need to turn off vibrations. I don't even know what half this shit is. Training. Hub graphics. I need that. Did I do it? Is it on? Nope. Graphics. Customize audio. Gameplay. Yep, they're on now. Um, it's just like... Games like this... I want to play them on a higher difficulty, just I haven't played it in a little while, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go, I may sound like a little puss when I say this, I'm gonna go easy on myself, I don't want to break anything. So, 
Well, I'm actually gonna um, push. This video is almost done, so once I exit this trip, oh, god damn it! I'm gonna, once I exit this train, I'm gonna end this video and start a new one. So, so, uh, I'm actually gonna end this video here because the timer literally had one second left. So, if you do enjoy what you see here, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more because I'm going to push out this game like I pushed out Bioshock. Crazy. So, if you do enjoy, you know what to do? You know the drill? Leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more. I'll see you all later.